Mike, are you a reincarnate 501c3 church? Definitely not with the Latter-day Saints. So you got to give credit where credit is due. They've also brought out the UFOs. Guess what? They also brought out reincarnation. Mike, are you a reincarnation guy? Do you understand the scripture? Speak on that. Um, what do you mean as far as reincarnation, bro? That, that there are souls that have existed in, in the past that are now in bodies currently. And, and the most high does that through generations. I don't necessarily, um, I don't necessarily know much about reincarnation, but what I can say that I do agree on is that we was created prior to being in a body. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. You know what I'm saying? Like our soul was created and it, and then it was placed into a body. Agreed. Now, if the almighty chose that, that, that wasn't enough time and decided to take it out, put it back in another body. I couldn't say that he wouldn't do it or it's not possible. I just don't, I don't know too much yeah, about good. it. No, that's a good answer, man. I appreciate it. A lot of people get offended when we bring that up, but we can prove it later if you want. But I'll read Luke 12, 51, 53. Suppose you that I've come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. For from henceforth, there shall be five in one house divided, three against two and two against three. Verse 53, the father shall be divided against the son, son against father, mother against daughter, daughter against mother, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. So these are verses that I've never heard in the 20 years that, you know, I was a quote-unquote Christian. I mean, I, I don't know how, it, I, I don't know if the Bible speaks about any type of reincarnation except for the Messiah, but um, I think that when you lose people is when you refer to it as reincarnation, when it, it's not always reincarnation. See, they, they might think you refer referring to a, a perpetual reincarnation. Yeah, good point. You, you know what I'm saying? If you, want, if you want us to go into that. or Can you bring out the scripture that says uh, yeah. reincarnation? Yeah, we can. I don't know where to begin, man. Uh, we'll start with the famous one. This one is pertinent to the times that we live in and involves the chariots. No, I'm saying like one that supports multiple lives in multiple physical bodies, one yeah. soul. Yeah, for sure. Right. Right. Revelation 1, 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. So this is the future. This has never happened in human history. Agreed. And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. So let me read again. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye, so this is a physical body, has an eye, shall see him, and they also which pierced him. So they're going to see him as well. So their soul has to be back on this earth right now in the last day. Um, I mean, it just because they see him we can't infer that all like that there's reincarnation I, I just think it's much of a stretch you feel me okay might of god might of god go ahead and get a what what is that the one we brought out in, job. in uh, the book of job what was that job i believe the what was it 19th chapter i believe verse 25 on down the thing mind of god is that i, I believe quick, brother, should, quick. go ahead no, quick, it's fine. I, I just want to ask we'll this. Disagree. I, we'll, just, we'll just read a couple of verses, just so it's not one. Yeah, I was yeah, just trying quick. to give a context on my mentality is that I don't believe we should take an idea and then try to find scripture that supports it. I believe it should be the other way around. The, the idea okay, should good, come okay, from good. the scripture originally. And if it doesn't sound like it at all, we can't just start interpreting whatever as because not everything's a parable. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. No, we'll, we'll prove it. It's, right, not, right. it's, not, we, it's we, not just we, one verse. And then we got prophecy. You yeah. know that prophecy is not literal also, right? Can I, can I just chime in real quick? I just want to say something. Yeah. Uh, before mind of God reads that, um, and this is going to sideway into another reincarnation scripture we want to read, but I just want to confirm, um, Mike, do you agree that um, John the Revelator died on the island of Patmos? Do you, do you subscribe to that? John the Revelator died on the island of Patmos? I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not versed in where John died. Do, well, okay. do, you, do you believe that he died in human history? Don't, don't worry about the Patmos I, part. But. Do I believe that a man named John died? Yeah. yeah. Like he yeah, wasn't probably. taken up or anything like that. Like yeah, died. I don't. I don't know any record of him of him ascending. The only person I know that has ascended without death was Enoch. Okay. That was the one okay, who was, he was taken but, and without death. I never heard of John being taken without death. Okay, that's good. But yeah, we're God. Gonna, yeah, I'll read Job first, and then we'll get the revelation. So we're not trying to corner you, by the way. We're not. We're not trying no, to. I, do Some people I, do do that. Honestly, bro, if you could prove whatever I'm saying like completely wrong to me, I would appreciate that because then I could learn. You feel me? Yeah, that's cool. I'm not so, like uh, a salty dude. Yeah, that's cool. So Job 19, 25 to 27, for I know that my Redeemer liveth and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. So this tells us the time period, very similar to Revelation 1, 7. Listen to this, verse 26. And through, and though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, verse 27, whom I shall see for myself and myself and my eyes shall behold and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. So now that's, that's who is speaking there? Job. All right, this is Job. All right. What what he's saying is that he's gonna he's gonna have worms eat his body. Yep. So the eyes will be destroyed in that mm -hmm. in verse twenty six. The whole body will be stopped. Okay. Then it goes on to say in verse twenty seven, whom I shall see for myself. And remember, he's talking about in verse twenty seven that my redeemer liveth, and he shall stand in the latter day upon the earth. So you have to really link all these twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. So I just I don't see how this in any way supports multiple lives and multiple bodies of one soul. No, that's fine. Just let me. Uh, I'll explain. So. This is, this is a document, this is Job essentially <clears throat> predicting that he is going to die. His body will decompose, is what he's saying in verse And be reborn, and he's going to see the Almighty Father in, in his the last days. Yeah, so right. if we're in the last days, he's here on this earth right now. Well, it, it says, right, it says that the they're going to be taken back up out of the earth. 
You get what I'm saying? They're good. He might return. You get what I'm saying? With, yeah, he might return. Saying. He that's might return saying. to the earth with the with the sun. You know what I mean? To destroy it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, okay. Yeah, fair like, enough. Like you gotta understand there's an army of of people, right? Where did these people that are coming with the Messiah come from that is coming to war? It's not just the angels. You feel me? Fair well, enough. that's why that's if, if you go to uh It says the saints are gonna be with him and who is the saints? Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, well, hold on a second. We we agree with that, but if you go to what is that? Um First Corinthians the fifteenth chapter it says what? That the dead in Christ will rise first, right? So I would say at the saints the Lord's coming with, those are the ones who he's beaming up, right? But that that's another topic. We won't go off into that. I believe uh, that people is going to be beamed up so that they could be there, right, and actually take part in the destruction. And it might, it, it yeah, might sound crazy to you, but I, I really believe that the Almighty is going to give a lot of these people that had suffered the opportunity to be there and wipe out evil. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sure. In that you final make, battle. You make, you make a valid point. I would say we're going to give you another verse here. And again, we're not trying to convince you. We're trying to tell you what's our reasoning. Okay. I don't, you know, I don't disagree that people are going to be reborn again. Right. And I, look, if, if the scripture says that they're going to be in a fleshly body, it's possible. Right. There's a better one. There's a better one. Revelation 10, 10 to 11. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten, my belly was bitter. Listen to this. And he said unto me, thou must prophesy again before many people and nations and tongues and kings. Mm -hmm. so, right. So according to the history of the last days. Right. Right. Wait, what what is, is, oh, my God. Why, why we're talking about this? Go ahead and get, what is that? Daniel, the 12th chapter where it says, I'll stand in his lot at the end of days. But the reason why we brought the brother to Revelation 10 and 11 on down was, according to the history, right, John died. He was uh, imprisoned on an island called Patmos, right? So he died there. So when we understand this, how could he go and teach before many kings and, and nations again if he already passed away? Oh, it's he very simple. Said, so, His writings, my brother. But it says that he should go teach. But did he not write the writings, the teachings? Did they not teach many kings? Here, let me let me address that. That's a fair that's a fair point. I would just or I would just or I would say my stance is like, listen to this. And he said it unto me, "Thou must prophesy. Like you must prophesy. Not you're not what well, you're writing." Is what I'm saying is, did he come back and say, "I'm John. I came back and I'm prophesying." No, whether, whether he knows whether he knows he's John is not the point. It's like John the Baptist did not know that he was Elijah, and that doesn't mean that he's not Elijah. You know, in that John, I came back and I'm prophesying. No, whether, whether he knows whether he knows he's John is not the point. It's like John the Baptist did not know that he was Elijah, and that doesn't mean that he's not Elijah, you know, in that in that interaction. But what you mean he was Elijah? John is not the point. It's like John the Baptist did not know that he was Elijah, and that doesn't mean that he's not Elijah, you know, in that in that interaction. But what you mean he was Elijah? John is not the point. It's like John the Baptist did not know that he was Elijah, and that doesn't mean that he's not Elijah, you know, in that in that interaction. But what you mean he was Elijah? Where have you know Christ says oh, that John the Baptist is Elijah? Go ahead that he's Elijah. Okay. Yeah. okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Matthew chapter 17 and verse 10. And on down from there. Mighty God, pull it up for us real quick. Yeah, Matthew you, 17. Can I ask a question? Yep. No, no, we're, we're talking right now, brother. Then we'll let you, okay? All right, go ahead. Do your thing. We might seriously be about to break some ground on something here. No, and honestly, we like your we like your responses because we want yeah. somebody to actually challenge it, not just be like, yeah, whatever, you know. So that's that's good. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And as I said, yeah. brother, you know, even though we might disagree, you know, yeah, you're welcome on any time, man. You know, we're all building each other up in this thing, right? This builds all of us up. Might have got a throw back to you. Right. Matthew 17, verse 10. And the disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elijah must come first? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Elijah truly shall come first and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elijah has come already, and they knew not, and they knew, sorry, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they like. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the disciples understood that he spake of them of John the Baptist. So the Spirit inside knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they like. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them then the disciples understood that he spake of them of john the baptist so the spirit inside of john the baptist was elijah okay so on the real i'll accept that the spirit of john the baptist just like we have like you know we got evil spirits in the world that be you know manipulating people to do wicked i do not doubt that we got good spirits manipulating people not manipulating but you know what i'm saying guiding people to do good and to be prophets and you know what i mean prophesying someone has to give them to the prophesy somebody's doing the work for the most high, you know right. what I'm saying? So right. obviously exactly. he's going to be like, yo, go tell this prophet to say this. And they're going to come down and tell that prophet. Yeah, I don't disagree good. with that, but I don't. That's good. The only reason that, the only reason we're sort of mentioning this, obviously it has a lot of implications. In Revelation, I can believe that. That fits my idea of no, what it's actually everything good. is. Just to, just to add to what you were saying, it's like the Christian church, and it doesn't sound like you're affiliated with them in any way, but just for the audience, they're basically, no, against, they're basically against prophecy. But all these verses support that all these prophets in the past are here again. I'll pass it to anybody. Oh, my God, go ahead and get, um, uh, what is that, Daniel, the, the 12th chapter, where he yeah, says, I got that one ready. 
Yeah, this one's a good one. <clears throat> I believe Daniel is actually Ezra, so that's a form of reincarnation. But Daniel 12, 13. But go thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. Stand in thy lot. So he's going to be in a body. Yeah, I believe they'll be here, but I, I believe they'll be in their body. And I, and I believe that the prophets do influence men, but I don't believe that the prophets are inhabited in other bodies, other, in other images, because they only have, you know what I mean? We only have one image. I, I like that you were, use that word image, by the way. But, you know, yeah, yeah just, just maybe maybe this first time you've heard it, just think about it. You know, it's... um. It's one Look, thing that ETT and I teach. So you know. I listen. I listen to it, but at the same time, as far as being reincarnated in multiple bodies, I don't believe that. You know what I mean? All I right. Mean, well, can I, if can that, I breaks, real quick, man? that breaks your religion. Okay. Real quick, going by that though, right? Daniel, right? He obviously died back then, right? So he his basically his body physically perished, right? It went right. back to the earth. But it's saying that in the last times, he's going to be alive again, right? He's standing yeah. his lot at the yeah, end but of the that, day. So what so I'm saying is. In the end of days, I do believe that these people who had died, these these special people, you know what I'm saying? I believe they're going to be brought up back to life in their bodies. You get what I'm saying? On the earth. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And but I don't believe... Had back then. Well, if it's the same exact body, I don't know, mole molecule by molecule, but in yeah. the same exact image. You feel well, me? I guess, Mike, it's, that's, that's, I'm glad you mentioned that. It's a bit subtle maybe then. So you believe it'll happen in the future. ET and I believe that that's happening now. So I believe it at, in the end of days, like I said, in the end of days. The end of days is... Basically, the time period, right, when you got judgment happening. Right, exactly. We're leading we're right, right now. Today. Right, yeah. right now, we're leading up to the the judgment day and the end of days. But I don't believe that we are actually in the time when we no, see. No. You know what no. I'm saying? No, that, that's it's important to clarify. So you're not opposed to that idea in the very. I think we're very close. Day. And let me just we're about to see it. My point. So you're you would just say that these things can happen. You're at least open to them happening, but it'll be in the future, right? Yeah, I do believe that we're going to see a lot of things happening before we see the prophets back on the earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think there's going to be a lot of crazy things biblically yeah, that has to happen prior to that coming. So I don't think there's any prophets on the planet because if there was, I believe they would be moved to do things that would be essentially moving, that would move the planet. You know, they would be doing things that man can't do, normal man. They would be doing things of the prophets, you know, going and challenging 450, you know, prophets of Baal and, and convincing them with, you know what I'm saying, with works yeah. of the Almighty before them, consuming the bullock and the land beneath it. You feel me? There's nothing like that happening yet. So what I believe is we're in an, we're in a, a, a climax, right? I believe we are at the cusp where the can of beans is about to pop open because I don't know if you know anything about polar shifts. Dude, dude, we, ET and I agree. Something's about to pop. No doubt, man. No you want me to break it down for you yeah, all real yeah, quick? Yeah. All right. But wait, wait, just, go just, just, to, just to push pause on that. So not to get down another rabbit trail, just to kind of put a bow on the reincarnation thing. So it's good. I, I like that you listen to it because that first and foremost proves that you're not one of these maniacs in the in the church because you at least listen to the person. So that's good. So just so you know, generally, and I'm not saying this to boast, but we could literally bring out probably 50 verses fairly easily that support reincarnation. So I just want you to know it's not just the 10 that we brought out here. I will sit here and listen yeah. to the verses. Yeah. I'm just saying that... Um, all right, so when we look at verses, we have to also then, you know, like if we look at something in the New Testament and it doesn't agree with something that's in the Old Testament, we have to be completely aware, right, of all the different types of corruptions that have happened to the Scripture. What and about I, the Apocrypha? What about the Apocrypha? Yeah, are you, are you in the second Ezra? Are, are you okay with that? I mean, of course. Yeah. It was it was in, it was was in included in the 1611 yeah. King James Bible. Well, you quoted Enoch, so we know that you're good because I, I think Enoch is good too. So I believe all truth is the word of the Almighty. So all truth, in my opinion, is scripture. And anything that is a lie is of the devil. And there's nothing in between. Okay. If a man has yeah, truth and it's, and it's written down and it was written by a biblical person and just because the, the church doesn't want to accept these you know, artifacts and manuscripts as scripture now doesn't mean they're not scripture. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, we agree with you. Yeah, I'm not accepting that. the truth of Muhammad, you feel me? But I'm going to accept yeah, the truth yeah. of Esdras and Bell and Dragon and you know what I'm saying? I'm going to accept right, anything that came from that time period. Yeah, yeah, real quick. I, I do want to let um Sacramento, because he said he had a question. We had a oh, no, man, I yet. totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, okay. I man, forgot what I was going to say. I'm man, sorry, you there, you want to add something? That's cool, man. Who's there? Manny? I was saying it's Manny wanted to say something. No, Manny, dude, are you sober, man? Say something, dude. Let us know. Oh, yeah, speaking is. of sober, I got a question for you, mind of God. Yep. What's your uh, take on marijuana? Um, what is that? Weed. I'm just messing with you. Um, oh, okay. I've tried it maybe um, five or six times in my life, and it doesn't. I don't react well because I'm already an anxious person. So uh, I don't. I don't. I'm not somebody who would like recommend that. But I also know that it's been used for somebody that I know personally. Their uh, their mom was using it in Canada because I believe it's legal there medicinally, and it helped. Her I, I mean, I mean, hell, yeah, man! I, like I, I, I was listening. 
I was listening to your stream the other day, man. That coon called in, right? Flat Earth boxer, which that's really yeah. cool, right? I tried to, I tried to talk with him. He was like, well, I don't want to talk with you. I asked him, okay, well, mate, can you even tell me why you feel that way? And he's yeah. like, he's kind of a douche. Wait, well, wait a second. I, I was thinking to myself. I was listening to him. He's on there saying, oh, well, you know, maybe the people in the world might see UFOs when Christ returns, but the elect might see, you know, horses and chariots running around. I, I, I reacted. So I, I was, that was real quick. I was thinking. I was thinking to myself. It's like, wait a second. Is this is this cat under the influence of something? I mean, what the hell is this guy? Real quick, I was thinking. I was thinking to myself. It's like, wait a second. Is this is this cat under the influence of something? I mean, what the hell is this guy talking about? <laughs> I, dude, I have to admit, man, that part. You know, you know, you know how you say, uh, you know, a person can be sincere, but they could be sincerely wrong. You know, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Dude. I was like, dude, that that dude, yeah, that, yeah, that guy off on that one. So yeah. He's, Hey, that, that guy, that guy is drowning in that sauce, man. That's a lot. Um, <laughs> can we, can we, I add it to that? We have no issues with Project Blue. Oh, here, man, you know, we, we, we have no issues with people who come here and say Project Blue. No worries, but you have to have a reason. Like, why would that happen? You know, and I'm saying some people do have reasons, but you can't just say there's going to be some fake thing and then this and that and just make up stuff. You know, it's like, well, why? Okay, why would God do that? Because we know God is behind the deception. So, hey, real quick, I, I, real quick, I, I got a sister in the back chat here. She, uh, I don't know the name because it's in uh, looks like Chinese or something. I just want her to confirm in the chat that she's real. I believe she is real because she looks like she's making some some Christian arguments. So I believe she's real. But just to be safe, I just want her to respond in the comment section, uh, you know, just to bring her on. Because she was saying, let me see if I can go back up. Dude, imagine um, it was a good serpent, dude. We would have an epic hangout, man. If he oh, I actually talk to him every now and then on email. You know, he actually, hey. good serpent lives like 20 minutes away from me. Really? Oh, I knew he was in yeah. California. Yeah, that's pretty Yeah, cool. no, he's, he's closer than hey. I thought. Hey, hey, hey mind the guy. Mind the guy. Live stream with the guy, man. I want to. I asked him about that, but he didn't say anything. Right. Let, let, let me say this. Let me say this. You know what? The, when we had Try died and laid to the side. Oh, I was, was about to ask. Want to? I, I asked him about that, but he didn't say anything. Right. Let, let, let me say this. Let me say this. You know what? The, when we had Try died and laid to the side. Oh, I was about to ask. Wait a second. Wait a second. Got about that piece. Wait a second. Luke. I mean, excuse me, Sacramento. I'm still talking, man. Hold on. I'll let you add that in after. Okay. But I was saying, hey, look. You know, imagine if Samuel Owen called into the debate. That was the one person that was missing. Imagine oh. who Katz who had that in after. Okay. But I was saying, hey, look, you know, imagine if Samuel Owen called into the debate. That was the one person that was missing. Imagine oh. who Katz on there with Samuel Owen. <laughs> but ETT, I got to ask you, man, does, how, much, how many live streams could you do with that guy before you get tired? It's got to be like one a month or something, right? You can't talk to that hey, guy. Hey, look, hey, look man, he, we're just doing that for entertainment, man. I mean, it's really just entertaining to have that oh, cat on that. there. I bet that. But, you know, you know when, when he yells at you on your own live stream, like, that, that's, gotta, that's something, man. You know what I mean? Like, no, one, no one's going to do that on my live stream. I'll just I'll flip it like, Yeah, yeah. Like, as he said, right, ETT is hogging up all the streaming time. It's like, what the hell are you talking about, man? You've been talking for the last 25 hours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's uh, a, no, anyway, I have right now. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. I seen you mention uh, Sam Owen on there. That was funny. Um, but uh, I was going to ask, Mind of God, um, have you been seeing what these? I don't know what they're called. These recent Hebrew Israelites with the white dude. Um, they've they don't believe that. Uh, hold on, let me say this. They believe that we're in a new covenant. They be, they don't believe in the chariots of the Most High. They believe Mystery of Babylon is the Vatican, I believe, and they don't teach reincarnation. Have you talked to them about that at all? Yeah, th those guys on that radio show. That we did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it seems like they literally took every teaching that was correct and then they just took the other side of it. <laughs> you know, it's like all the teachings yeah. that we late quote labored or learned of, you know, Mystery of Babylon, reincarnation, UFOs, uh, lots. I don't even know. There's probably more. I mean, but, um, I mean, yeah. hell. I mean, hell, sooner or later, those cats are going to be teaching that Christ is a white man. I was just going to UFOs, uh, lots. I don't even know. There's probably more. I mean, but, um, I mean, yeah. hell. I mean, hell, sooner or later, those cats are going to be teaching that Christ is a white man. I was just going to say that. Going. I was just going to say that because if America's not Mystery Babylon, then Christ could be Chinese for all we know. We don't know. We have no well, they've idea. controlled oh, opposition. <laughs> That's what wait, that wait, is. I cut them. I cut them because I asked them a question. They were saying, well, what's that one verse? Revelation 11 and verse 8. It was like, what? That, that great city, right? Spiritually, right, Solomon, right, Egypt, right. Also, was crucified. I, right. I asked them, wait a second, wait a second. They say that's Jerusalem. But here's the question I have then. It says that great city. Wait, so by logic, wouldn't that mean that Jerusalem is that great city, Babylon? Because it mentions that great city. And Revelation further down the line, talking about Babylon. So by their knowledge, if that is Jerusalem that's talking about, well, by logical deduction, they must then say, oh, well, that proves Jerusalem is that great city, Mystery Babylon. And I and I asked them that, and nobody wanted to talk about that. They, they completely yeah. skipped that. Yo, uh, you know what I'm saying? Do you want to know why these people are so backwards? Yeah. I could break it down to you pretty quickly. All right, I'm just need, I'm gonna need we like have our theory, minute. but let you let us know. Go ahead. All right, so you know, you know that Egypt is bondage, right? Yes. And the, 